Mahalo everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics, coming at you today with the new Centurion Arms C4 bolt carrier with sand cuts in them. So let's go ahead and check that out, but before we get into that, go ahead, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Also, check out our link tree. You can see us on Instagram. Check out our merch as well. We have a lot of cool stuff. If you're a big city cop or firefighter or any civil servant, you know the job's dead. So support us with that cool merch. Check it out. Represent the Big Dick Battalion. Also, if you're here for the first time, I am a police firearms instructor in the biggest department in the nation. And I love bringing you gun and gear reviews with that Big Dick energy. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I am a big fan of Centurion Arms. I love Monty Leclerc. I love his stuff, what he's done with all those... Uh, SPRs and stuff like that. Um, I have his rails. I have his bolts. Uh, anytime the bolts would come on sale, I'd buy a couple and just be like, hey, does anybody need one? Because his prices and the material, the Carpenter 158 tool steel that he uses is just really high quality. It's all MPI, you know, it all passes the test. So this is just one of the regular ones. I'll get the grease off there so you can see it, C4. But they're just great. Good, uh, you know, staking on the gas keys. I've never had a problem with these things. They're literally bomb proof and I swear by them. And I'll put them in any gun that I own, whether it be a Colt, which I am a big fanboy of, if you can see right there. And listen, don't knock me. When you carry the thing every day and it works, you know, there's no reason to not like it, okay? Um, I like Daniel Defense, but again, they're rails, they're bolt carriers, that, that's the experience that I have with them are great. Now, for years now, I've been hearing all this talk, especially from within the military community that's carried knights, rifles, on patrol, in combat, whatever, um, about sand cutter bolt carriers uh, from Knight's Armament Company. And Knight's always makes nice stuff. I have a Brownells 11 and a half inch URX that I'm gonna review and unbox soon. But again, these sand cutter carriers that Knight's had, um, they're basically good. They have relief cuts so that way, you know, if you get any dirt or debris in that ejection port, up in through the mag well, whatever, it's going to sift itself out, shake itself loose. Kind of like the wee poles in the back of Glocks and stuff like that. But now, Monty Leclerc, and again, I love the guy to death, he's awesome, came out with his own carrier. So, it's hard chrome. Very nice. Full auto rated. You know, so it's got the rate of a regular full auto carrier. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Z, uh, because... When these things hit the email, I checked right away, out of stock. So it says $180 on there, and again, guys, it's just the carrier, no guts, no bolt or anything like that. Um, I hit the website, it was $200, crossed out, $180, and it was already on the notify me, and I was like, fuck, this sucks, um, because I've always wanted a sand cutter. So what you have, you have relief cuts, all right, along the edges, along the sides, you can see that profile, all right? Again, they don't take away from the weight. I'm not sure about the mil spec, spec weight. Mil spec, again, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but it's just a full auto carrier, okay? Uh, also, up by the gas key, you'll see it's really nicely staked. If you can see right in there, they got their own proprietary screws that the staking really locks into, so that's good. I appreciate that. And you can see up there, there's actually relief cuts as well on either side. So, if anything were to get into that raceway up on that upper receiver, it'll flow through, come out the side, and then come down as well. Now, also, right underneath that firing pin, retainer pin, um, there's like a little weep hole. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's right over here, okay? That's unique in itself. Um, now, there wasn't much information on it on the website, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, they said on there about a 10 to 12 week, uh, 10 to 12 week lead time as far as these go. I'll just keep it up here so you can see it for the actual complete bolt. And I think it's totally worth it. If you wanted a sand cutter, and I'm sorry for messing this up, Z, getting my grease from my other bolt on it. But, uh, yeah, 10 to 12 weeks lead time for complete bolts. So they're going to be offering them. If you were to try to get a nice sand cutter, it's going to cost substantial money um, because a lot of these purists, and I don't fault them for it, and cloners, they, they snatch them up. And it, they are good. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about them from guys overseas. They praise them. So 
if you want an alternative, when these do become available, you got to get on that list and hit that notify me with that email. But for 180 bucks, for really like the heart of the gun, the thing that's going to keep the gun in the fight, other than a good barrel and then tertiary to that, good trigger, I think this is the way to go, guys. I, I really do. And like I said, I'll throw C4 bolts in any gun that I own. Any gun. Colt, Daniel Defense, BCM, whatever. And I don't care about fucking lock and lugs mating up. It's all the same shit. It's just Legos. But yeah, if you want to keep shit consistent, I totally get it. I'm not against it. But, you know, there is no this is the way. These things are fucking Legos. But whatever the case, guys, check them out. If you don't want to spend, you know, upwards of a grand on a sand cutter, go ahead. Again, guys, Centurion Arm C4. Hard chrome blind, all right, so it's going to wipe down easily. It's not like nickel boron, okay? It's hard chrome blind, so it's going to resist the heat as well better, all right? And I left out before that pin, all right, is actually on top too, if you could see it. So going back to that, I talked about that little weep hole. There's one on top as well. The index is kind of right next to that firing pin retainer pin. So, very interesting stuff here, but again, Monty LeClaire, check him out, awesome dude. They always write little love notes if you buy stuff from them. So, thanks again, guys. Remember, train yourselves, your family, vote the right way, educate yourselves and others. It's our oldest civil right, the Second Amendment. And also, all right, again, job's dead, you all know it. Spend some of your retro on my merch, help support the channel. Every dime you spend on it goes right back into it. Stay safe, God bless.